Welcome back, everyone. It is episode two on Maypole Farm. I uh, started some of the work from the last episode. Uh, we're going to try and get our stock of bales, uh, whether they be hay or silage bales or uh, straw. Uh, we need to get that going for our cows. But before we get too much into that, I need to make a I don't know if it's an apology or an explanation or a, I don't know what you want to call it, but I kept referring to this map as being a UK map. It is not a UK map. It is uh, an Irish map. So uh, UK is going to have to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, anyways, it's a fine map uh, nonetheless. So there are maple maypole farms in the in the uk um i just googled it and saw uk and i said ah oh, that's it but this one actually in particular is in ireland so yeah anyways uh, my apologies for that my mistake uh let's jump out while we're right here we're gonna get our mower going somewhere else oops Uh, we have several fields, and uh, I got a lot of stuff started, I guess, in the la in uh, off camera. Uh, I need to go. I better put up this guy for now, cause I'm still not used to what we have and what we don't have. So that field there will be hay. Um, so we'll make some hay bales. This field here will be silage bales. And, uh, oops, oh, hitting all the wrong keys. There we go. Uh, da da da. I think I'll do two headlands on this one. Uh, that should be good, I think. All right, go. Okay. All right. Where to next? Lots of stuff going on. This series, guys, is going to be a lot of activity going on. Uh, multiple fields being processed at the same time. Going to be a much faster pace than some of the other stuff that I've done recently. Uh, we had this guy. There we go. Uh, it's quickly becoming obvious that this harvester is very small and um, we're going to need to get something bigger sooner than later. Alright, more wheat. I did, uh, I did that field, gathered up the wheat there, and so we've got a lot of straw baling to do. We're going to start uh, getting the uh, one of the cow um, cow barns going. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is gather up enough uh, product, I guess, to, um, you know, have feed and, and straw for bedding and, and whatnot. And then we're going to, I believe we're going to go to the bank and we're going to get a loan for uh, to get our cows. So I don't know how much that's going to cost. I got to have to do some math. I have to figure out how many I want to start with, how many heads. Uh, the first barn that we do will be dairy cows. And um, actually, we should probably start. The first one should be beef. They take longer to, you know, it takes longer for them to, to start turning a profit, I guess. So. Yeah, and it, I think that's what we'll do. I need to get my head into the bailing game because there's going to be a lot of it in this series.
I have decided I will be working towards getting horses. Uh, I will use the uh, probably the horse helper uh, mod um, just because I honestly don't enjoy riding around on the horse um, so much. And uh, in order to, you know, if you're going to have several horses, you got to spend a fair amount of time riding them all around. And eh, I don't want to do it. Honestly, I just don't want to do it. And it's probably one of the main reasons I stay away from horses is the riding piece. But I'll use the horse helper. I will ride a little bit just for fun. Uh, but for the most part, we'll get some uh, air quotes workers uh, dealing with the horse uh, to take care of them. Now I'm all out of tractors so I cannot bail. Um, I wish I could. I probably should start looking into uh, a fourth tractor. I guess that's four? Yeah. We'll, need, we'll probably need four uh, very soon. As a matter of fact, let's look at the sale. I haven't looked there to see if there's anything, you know, significant. Ooh, I can get a motocross bike. Will that help? Uh, no, nothing really here. Um, that might be good for our next harvester, but what's this? That is a mulcher. I should probably... Is that a mulcher or a mower? I'm a little confused with that sometimes. I see mowers that mulch and mulchers that mow. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'll stay away from it. I do have a roller somewhere. I do have a, mo a roller. And this one does seeding. Okay. Um, this is something that... Oops. Uh, this is something I'm also confused about uh, with regarding. So if somebody knows, please, please throw in the comments. Um, there are weeders and rollers that will seed. So my question would be, if you're weeding, why would you want to seed? I don't quite understand. Um, you know, if you've got a grass field, typically grass fields are, you know, they stick around. Uh, why would I want to reseed it if it's already seeded? It's already, you know, in place. Uh, and Anyways, if somebody knows, please let me know. Ooh, that is not a young piece of equipment. I think what we're going to do... Um, seems logical to me that we might merge these two fields. And if that's the case, I will need to get a... Um, Three be gone or something to deal with the uh, fence posts. But I think these would be two excellent fields to merge. So we're going to look into that. That might be part of this project. But I have a lot of work to do first. Um, I need to get this all windrowed and uh, baled. And then, you know, get all the bales off the field. And I got to take care of the fence. And then I have to do some plowing to join the two fields. So that's a project in itself. So how are you guys doing today? I am doing fine. I am recording this on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, it's really nice out here. I've got a lot of work to do on the, on our property today. Uh, but I just wanted to get... Uh, well, you know, I'm having my coffee, so... I, uh, I just wanted to get... Uh, one episode in for this week uh, this upcoming week and uh, I have not picked up enough steam on this series yet to uh, be ahead of schedule I guess so I'm I'm recording as needed I need an episode for this week so here it is I usually try to record two or three ahead uh, so that if something happens and I'm unable to record it, I'm not kind of uh, in a pickle. Okay. 
Let us put this away. I think we can put it... Oh, yeah, tight corners. I know some of you are going to curse at this, but I may remove some buildings. Uh, I like my space. I'm an open space kind of person. So why am I on this map? <laughs> Good question. All right, uh, where's our wind rower? Our wind rower is over, oops, this way. I'm gonna go snag it and we will get that going. Not sure why I brought it over there. I guess I wanted to do the straw, but that'll have to wait. More than anything, I think I want to get the silage bales done first. So I think it would be wise to work on that as a priority. Uh, can I get through from here? I don't think so. The straw will have to wait. Straw is immediate serve. There's nothing to do. I did bail up the other field. I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not. I did bail it up, so I have some bales over there to pick up in the straw. Uh, that was the first field that we harvested. Okay. So this is the first field that I'm going to windrow. I think we're done with mowing. I mean, I could mow the pens for uh, where the animals are. I probably should actually. You know, get off of the bang, make a ton of bales. Um, you know, the animals aren't in there yet, so they won't be able to graze. Mind you, it won't be long before they're there. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're going to mow everything not the horses and maybe not the sheep but the two big cow cow yards I want to call it we'll get that done uh, access that through here I believe I think we have a gate yes I am correct Now these are real fields, so I can use horseplay on these. They don't look fully grown, but that's okay. We'll get a, you know, at least we'll have a start. Um, horse generator two. I think that should be okay. Might be challenging in some spots. Let's see. We'll find out. I really should have my strongest tractor on this, but what can you do? Now our chickens need a lot more feed to fill that up, so we're going to dump all of that wheat in there. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was a bit close. Not sure how this is going to go. I think we're going to be okay. All right, more chicken food. Oh, this tractor is underpowered for this. Yeah, one of the challenges with uh, animals is they take a while um, to start really paying their rent. Uh, most of them do anyway. 
so it's uh it's a, it's a heavy upfront investment uh and they have to be very patient and wait for wait for the uh i guess all the good hard work to, to pay off um all right there we go am i hitting the garage this time no i think we're good Okay, where does that put us with regards to feed? Oh, we still have lots of room. Uh, the good news is um, it's only 60 chickens so far, so not a big deal. They're going to take a while to get through that. Okay, let's get this trailer put away so we can get this tractor working on other things. We don't need it for a while now, I don't think. Uh, we will have to go get some stuff from the store, though. So we may, uh, we may actually need it soon. Uh, okay, what's next? Uh, do I want this guy doing bailing? Oops. Ugh, I keep going the wrong way. Um... Let me check on the others first before I get too involved with this one. We gotta get this guy off the field. You know, I was talking about this guy being too small, but you know, fact is he's working as almost as fast as the others. So yeah, maybe it's not that urgent. But it sure would be nice. I mean, the nice thing I like about this one is that I don't need to use a trailer. I can actually get around. Um, some spots are a little tight, but for the most part, I can get around just with the header on. Now that they say that, I'm bound to hit everything. Including this tractor that I just left here, right at a choke point. And I forget whether I fit through here or not. I think I do. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit rough. Um, I think we're going to park in here. Ah, I can't see at the back. Need a reversing camera. There we go. How do we go? Okay, so which pen are we going to start with? If we're doing beef at all, uh, I think maybe we'll start with this one. Um, hang on, let me just double check. This is milk. Yeah, that's where I get the milk from. This will be easier access for the milk, I think. So, I think we'll start with beef back here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Just from an ease of, of you know, getting the product. So I won't need to come here to get it. Let me open this gate, because we're going to need that shortly. Alright. So we'll have two silage fields. Um, well, two, two fields that will process for grass. Uh, wrap the bales in the silage. And two of them will make, use for um, hay. Gate gonna be in the way, maybe. Let's start over here. Okay, this is gonna be our silage field. I think this is our smallest tractor. 
gonna run this over to the field next door we'll get that wind road as well I should hang on a second I want to try something uh save course what field number is this this is field number 68 save course um how do i save course uh woo, i don't remember how to do this i don't know what's going on okay i don't know weird weird okay let's get this guy done i wanted to try to bail um using the course that the wind rower used so that's not gonna work um at least i don't know how to do it so go ideally at some point we'll get a bigger rent wind rower and we can make big beefy swaths Okay, I guess we're going to be bailing with this guy. I hope it's powerful enough. I think it is. We're not going to do uh, this straw yet, mainly because it. Um, uh, I want to windrow it. Well, it'll it'll save a lot of time, I think. I feel like I'm going to be cutting some shortcuts in here. Um, wait, what did I do? What did I do? Now oh, I forget. What did I do? Um, well, let's see what happens, I guess. I don't remember which one I did hay in. Ugh, I'm getting so old. If it's hay, it'll just wrap as hay. If it's grass, I'll have to get silage bales. And that first one is going to be a straw bale. Okay. Okay, that's our silage field. I just realized there's slopes on these fields and I'm doing round bales. Should be fun. This new fast bale is... Uh, it feels unrealistic, to be honest. Um, but it is fantastic. It um, picks up very wide swaths, uh, which is a huge plus, a lot less cleaning up after. Uh, it is fast, um, meaning uh, you can actually travel pretty fast with it. And uh, it does all the different types of bales. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I say fast, it seems to, and let, let's see right now. Uh, right now we're 19. Uh, we are uphill though. All of a sudden it speeds up. And I think if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, uh, it automatically senses when it's not picking up and uh, allows you to speed up. But we're doing 23 here um, while we're bailing. Isn't that crazy? Uh oh. Went over too far. Alright, that's our first field of silage silage bales. And then we're gonna get into this guy. And we're just gonna go right away. 
This might confuse the baler a little bit. Let's find out if we get a silage bale or a hay bale on this. This will be a silage bale. Okay, we're going to take a little break. Uh, we've got to get this guy repositioned. And he's not finished because this bale's in the way. So I'm going to cheat a little bit just to move it out of the way. There we go. Uh, which way am I going? This way. We'll do hay bales in here. Uh, oops. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Need to ted that first. Let's go fix that problem. There we go. All mode. Oh, I guess I should fold the front too. There we go. Let's keep our mower in here. Once we get settled in and understand uh, which uh, sheds we like, which ones we use a lot, uh, we may get rid of one or two sheds just to free up a little bit of yard space. Uh, there's a chance we want to add some production, so we'll need some space to do that. Yep, of course, we will do the three headlands on this. Smooth. I want to ted the other field, so we'll get on that as well after. Oh, we missed one little bit up here, and that'll be it for this field. We're going to put this away for a little bit. Actually, we won't put it away because we're going to need it pretty darn soon. So I think we're just going to leave it out somewhere. I think we're just going to put it right here for now. Now, I've never used this uh, bale storage pack, so I don't really know, uh, when I say pack, shed, uh, special shed, I guess, I don't really know how it works. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick up, I'm going to try something, I'm going to pick up different bales, um, all three different types of bales. And I don't know if I have to wait for the silage ones to be ready uh, before I put them in there or not. I don't know what'll happen. Hmm. Let's pick up the few that we have on this field here. I'm already starting to think that perhaps bailing is not the way to go on this map. I'm not sure though. We'll find out. Uh, we're going to have to process a lot of bales. Especially when our cow pens are full. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, the capacities are insane. Like they're really, really high. 
let's start uh, I don't know about the silage um, let's bring that in a bit uh, I don't know about the silage so I'm gonna start with the hay and straw and I want to load them on the same same wagon and then unload the whole thing into the bale storage and see oh that's tight Um, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go this way. It's a maze. It's a maze in here. Okay. Actually, we have one silage bale here, so I'm going to load one up and see what happens to it. I want to see if it records it as grass or as silage. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. It is accepting them. has accepted that as gr I can't go in there to check on it either dog can no how did you get in there you goofy pup dog um so I can see that I've got grass in there so I'm not sure what's going to happen if that's going to ferment in there or not and I come back tomorrow and it'll be silage I'm not sure that's why I hesitated to put all the other ones in here I didn't want a pile of grass bales um, okay. All right. Uh, some good progress made today. Um, still a lot of things to figure out. A lot of decisions to make. Uh, is bales the right way to go? Is, um, um, you know, do we want to start with the beef or the, or the dairy? Lots, lots of stuff, and we'll have to go get a loan uh, for the actual uh, livestock. Uh, we just don't have enough, and since we're not selling anything, uh, we're just going to sit here and go broke unless we do some contracts or something. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this may or may not be a longer episode. I'm not sure. Uh, depends on the edits, but. Um, yeah, if you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing, and I hope you have a great day.